Hello, Lecture 360 and Vida Iglesia 360. I am Anna Chesterfield and I am the Spanish campus pastor. This year is Pastor Ariel and he is the pastor for our Orange Beach campus. And Pastor Matt, many of you know, he is our lead pastor. Take 17. We are here today <laughs> and we are just glad to be coming online and talking to you and letting you know that we miss you all, that we just miss being together, but we are working on a plan to reopen our doors. Isn't that awesome? Woo! It is awesome, Anna. Now we're sure that all of you have been following this daily news, this COVID-19 pandemic news just as much as we have. Please know that this has been an extremely difficult time for all of us, as we know it has been difficult for many of you as well. And know that we are not out of the woods yet. We really can't express how much we are looking forward to that moment, that day, that Sunday, that we get to come together again, and that's gonna be soon. Come on, now our philosophy of ministry is what guides and directs us, and it has always included what Jesus said to his disciples in Luke 9, 23. He said, whoever wants to be my disciple, must deny themselves, take up their cross daily, and follow me. That's something that's had to really sink into my heart. What does it mean to take up my cross and deny myself? Well, I really think that means putting other people first, even if that means doing things that I don't prefer. You guys, in my personal life, I'm a risk taker. I, I like to just go do what I wanna do. But as a public leader, I can't do that. I, I want to make sure people are safe and healthy. That is our number one priority. It's our number one priority when they're in our building. It's our number one priority wherever they are. And we will always keep people safe and healthy. Now, the COVID-19 virus, the top scientists in the world, they have said this is what needs to happen. So we've all been following the rules and we're gonna continue following the rules because our government has mandated what the scientists have recommended. And we are so very thankful that yeah. the yeah. social distancing is working and that the cases are going down. But as well, we are also glad that as this is going down, that the governor has figured out a plan to be able to reopen our doors. And so that's why we're here today and we want to let you know what that is. So here is my cue. Ready? All right. So each phase, now pay attention, is scheduled to be a minimum of three weeks. All right. There are benchmarks that must be met to move to the next phase. So there is possibility that maybe it could go longer than that, but the goal is three weeks. If we are able to stay on schedule, we will begin phase two on May 26th. Phase two then allows for people to gather with up to five people outside of your household per week. Phase three then will be begin on June 16, allowing for groups of 50 or less to meet together under the guidelines of all the social distancing rules Thank you, Anna. All right. Now will be the week of that third phase that our Warren Beach and our Spanish campuses will be able to I'm so to jealous in. that you get to go before <laughs> us. I bet you are. Yeah. This well, cool. Okay, you're in there. Just, sorry, I didn't It is what it is, man. <laughs> it is what it is. But it will be in that third, it will be in that week of that third phase, right. that Sunday, that our Spanish and our Warren Beach campuses yeah. will be able to begin meeting. And we're going to meet, to begin to meet with multiple services, both campuses will. And it will be the Sunday. In fact, it will be a special for us dads. It's going to be that Sunday, Father's Day. That's Rub going to be our in. first time coming together. Oh, okay. <laughs> Rub it in. Our office staff is going to continue to work remotely, but will be coming in as needed uh, under those those guidelines that are in place for, for continuing essential staff. Services. Yeah, the yeah. Essential services. Yeah. guidelines. Yep. So, phase four is starting on July 7th. And barring any delays, we will open the, the Smoky Point campus on July 12th. And that's our goal, as long as there are no more delays. And I, I really am hoping for that. We will watch the news, I know you will, and we will give you more announcements as we get closer. And we need to make it really clear, this is what's really important for us as leaders to our church, and we're gonna need your help. We need to follow all the safety guidelines throughout the entire process. This is so critical to keep people safe and healthy. It's also critical for liability for the church. We are going to choose to put others before ourselves. We are gonna lay down our lives. We are gonna take up our crosses and we understand that a lot of these things are extremely inconvenient and they're difficult, but it will keep people safe. Now, folks, know that uh, to some degree, we're all suffering physically, emotionally, relationally, even financially right now. And know that 
We are so sorry for those of you who have been caught up in this pandemic and been even more affected than, than others, the damage that has been incurred. And, and we're praying for you every day. We still continue as a staff every Wednesday to come together and pray. And we believe we have an amazing opportunity as a church. And this isn't simply just us. It's the church as a whole. We're connected with so many pastors and other communities of faith. And we all believe that this is an amazing opportunity for us to serve our community in ways we wouldn't otherwise be able to. That's right. That's right. The truth is, this opportunity is not going to end in mid-July. In fact, we are just beginning. Yeah. This is the beginning of an amazing opportunity. God wants us to continue to serve and love our communities in every way we can. You know, Jesus led the way by taking up his cross and laying down his life. I'm not sure all the ways he will lead us to serve. But as our baptism t-shirt says, I'm all in. Yeah. The three of us stand up here saying, we're all in. And I know you are too. That is why I'm so thankful for the opportunity and the blessing, the great burden that it is to serve alongside all of you. You know, we really, all three of us, we really feel so blessed that, like, I talk to other pastors, and I know you guys do too, and, and they'll say, hey, church, could you help with this? Or, hey, church, could you be a part of this? And, and other pastors say they just try to drag their church, and we just say it, and people do it. It's like, you are really all in. And we're going to have more announcements and details in the weeks to come. And, and what we got to do is we got to meticulously develop our reopening plan, and that's what we're doing right now. One thing that we have to take note of, this is so important, is we're going to need to do many things differently. Like you guys are going to be having multiple services. Yes. And that, that's going to require volunteers. And, and, and the way we do our services, the way we have to have social distancing, the hygiene rules, all of this stuff is going to be different than the way we do it. And what we're really trying to say is that's going to be change. And change is never really fun. In fact, Change is often hard because whenever something changes, you have to give up something that you love dearly, and now you're doing something differently. And all of the churches who will actually follow the guidelines of what the government and what the scientists have asked us to do, which we are going to do, are going to experience the same difficulties as one another. But along with change comes opportunity. And what we have opportunity for is to share Jesus with our community, share Jesus with new people. And that's what we've been doing, and that's what we're going to continue to do for as long as we possibly can. So with that, so with barring any delays, this will keep on the Warm Beach campus. Warm Beach, yeah. Cool. And the Spanish campus, so that's you and I. Yep. Yeah, right? That's us. Yay. We'll follow you. Yeah, yeah. And Smokey Boy will follow us. Yeah. So bearing any delays and any changes, as we have been talking about with uh, regarding changes, we will be opening our doors, reopening our doors on June 21st, and that will be because it's phase two, three with the different 50 people or less, and so we will be getting ready, we're working on getting that done, and so we will give you more details as, as it approaches, but that is the plan right now. Warm Beach and Spanish Campus Campus, we will be opening our doors on June 21st. Father's Day? Father's uh -huh. Day. Father's Day. Yeah. And so, hope to see you guys there. So I'm jealous. We have to wait here in Smoky Point. Uh, we are going to, again, without delay, if there's no delays, we will open our doors on July 12th. And we are going to closely follow all the guidelines. People have been asking about drive-in church. And what we have been waiting for, and I got them last week, the specific guidelines for drive-in church. I know other churches have been doing it before, and they started it up again. We, we need a little time to ramp up. And so we're going to start drive-in church on June 7th. So that's just three weeks away. So June 7th, drive-in church at the Smoky Point campus at 9 and 1045. I might even be able to kind of coax you two into the services a little bit and uh, everybody can get together for that we'll have things for all of the family it'll be a great time it'll be a much shorter service and the reason for that is we're not able to have the building and the bathrooms open so we're going to go no more than 40 to 45 minutes and you'll be pulling out of the parking lot and being able to enjoy your day but it'll be a celebration to be together we want you to know that we love you we want you to know that we're praying for you. And if you need anything, will you please, please, please email us, uh, message us on Facebook, text us, just get a hold of us, and we want to be there to help serve and love you. And 
Uh, Anna's going to close us in prayer and just pray for everybody because this is not an easy time for anybody right now. That's right. I just want to just want to tell you guys again to reiterate that we miss you all and that we love you and that we can just can't wait to be together again. Father, we want to thank you for the opportunity to come together and provide this message to to our community, to the church. Father, we pray for all the churches around in Arlington and Marysville and Everett and Smoky Point, all of them, Lord, in our community. We pray, Lord, that your hand is on these churches, that your hand is in our community and our congregations, Lord, that you keep us safe and you keep us healthy, Lord, as we plan to go come back in your guidance, Lord, in your word. We pray, Father, that you not only are surrounding us, Lord, but you bring more people to seek you, Lord, more people that are, are needing the love of Jesus, the community, Lord, that we can be together. Father, we pray that as this pandemic continues and it, the numbers go down, Lord, we pray that the people that have been suffering, the people that have been in pain, whether that is emotionally, mentally, spiritually, financially, Lord, that they begin to heal, Father, and that the church be that first step that they can take to look for that healing. Father, in the name of your son, Jesus, we ask, amen. Amen. I, we we kind of need like one of those, what are they, the, the superhero break or something. I don't know what we would, like we could be the three musketeers. That was a, a, my, my deal. I don't understand the power. They're not superheroes. I, They're not superheroes. What? No. The three musketeers are not, what? But I could be Wonder Woman. Is cool. You could be Wonder Woman. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you, if she's Wonder Woman, what, you Ant-Man? <laughs> ah! <laughs> Uh, Listen, I never want to step into the leader's shoes. Oh, God. <laughs> we love you guys. I so appreciate you guys and the leadership of our Likewise. country. Thank you, Matt. Yeah. God, bless you guys. God bless you guys. God bless you.